think about that. Three, we don't get anything out of this deal. Heat you all. Um, this game's a little bit different in the fact that you're not actually physically rolling the dice, so you don't feel that tension. Um, when you go to roll the dice, see at 11, I would have been really stressed out. Uh, I need to get one sheep. Anybody? That's fine. That's for you. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the development cards and what goes on here because there's a whole range of items that you can get from development cards. There is 24, just like the amount of hexes here. Uh, so we'll pull the first one and we get a year of plenty. We shouldn't be able to play this card the first when we get it. Um, but when you play this card you can select two resources of your choice from the bank. Um, so that will be good to have and then we also have a knight which is what I talked about. So when you play this card you can move the robber to steal resources from the owner of the adjacent settlement or city. Um, and the way that I have played and always will play is you have to hold the card for a turn before you can play it. Um, so I'm not even going to try and play because it, would, it wouldn't even feel right to, to play cheap like that. Alright, Marianne is robbed. That's what you get for having too many cards, lady. You greedy, greedy person. Alright, so we are at seven points. And we just got our ore stolen from us. Dang it. Okay, but we're going to pull in a lot of wheat right here. Ooh, that sure would be nice to have. Um, I'm probably going to play this year plenty to... What do you want? You want to give... You want to take a wheat and give me a sheep? Yeah, we'll do that. Um, so I'll probably be end up playing this year plenty for a road. And then I have these three woods so I can play another road pretty much with the port trading. You have a night card. Do you want to play it or roll the die? I want to show the game map and just make sure. Yeah, it's on me. Um, so this lady is being a jerk. And this guy only has two points. So she's really the only th real threat that we got going on. Um, so she can suck it on the wheat. So what is this? Oh. Oh. That's old school. That's how, more of how the board looks in the real game. They've changed the knight to gray, and I believe that's for racial reasons. I don't know. Um, so let's do this, and we will play the knight card. We will play it up here, because we hate her. Haha. -ha. Oh, so I got a brick, so I won't have to portrait it if I don't want to. But I get three more wood. Um, so we'll have six, and that will be more than enough to port trade with. So let's try... What does she have? Seven roads. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we lay one more down, we'll have seven, eight, nine. So ooh, we need three roads, actually. Do we have enough to get three roads? If we port trade two away, that will take four. We'll have two left. Oh, we were going to do this, and we will do this for two brick, and then we'll be able to, oh, I already played, balls, alright, let's see, will you guys give me a brick, for two wheat, and a sheep, trade that for that uh, let's actually do it for an ore buy another development card and we'll build a road
So we got a victory point. Um, so now there's one less point that we have to get. This is pretty much like having a settlement. And the way the points work is a city's worth two, a settlement's worth one, longest road and largest army are each worth two. Um, so let's go ahead and build our road. And I like to kind of build out a little bit like this, and then anything that I'm going to have to connect in the future be kind of close like this. It doesn't always happen, but I was able to block the people off, so I really don't have worries about trying to connect this up. I rarely go for longest road, um, unless it just kind of fits together like this. Because if you try and bank on something like that, it just always seems like you get kicked in the teeth. Alright, um, hey, you didn't want to trade with me, so I hate your face. You told me to kiss your boots. I'm just, I'm not even going to look at his trades. He can suck it. Yeah, so as you saw, I tried to play the Plenty after playing the Knight. I forgot about that. Um, you can only play one development card per turn. Unless it's a victory point. Um... If you played any other card, you can still play um, as many victory points as you need to play to win that you have. Um, so you can collect like three or four victory points and then play them all in the same round. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, they're building ruin. That's why it's zooming in. Um, so that's the only exception to the rule. And you don't actually like, once you get the victory point or any of these other cards, you don't show them until actually you play them. So the victory points are pretty much just face down the whole time. I hate this lady so much. I know. Um, so you don't have to like tell everyone what you got when you have it. That's just kind of a personal thing, I guess. Alright. We have eight points and so we are able to use this year of plenty. Uh, we'll get two resources and we'll get two brick. So we'll be able to connect up here. Oh, she has nine roads now? You gotta be kidding me. Um, so let's see what we can do. We'll throw that down there. And then, what do we have? Four. Throw that, that down there. So we also have nine. No one's going to trade us. So I'm not on any bricks, so what I'm going to... Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to port trade for a brick. I'm not, not even going to try trading with these other people. Um, so pretty much as long as the... Th oh, the thief's on the nine. Dang it. Oh, well, I was going to say there's a lot of different ways that I have to win now, but a five hit. So as long as the thief doesn't get moved to me and the person pulls my brick, I should... Well... If the thief gets moved to me, I'll still be okay. Because one person didn't roll it. So I have the, the buffer to be able to build uh, whatever I want. As long as she doesn't build a road, I should be able to win this next round. So I can build another road. And if a thief would have been pulled on me, if they took the brick, I would have been able to portrait for another brick. I don't care what you want to trade with me. You can die. Man, my numbers hit like crazy that time. By crazy, I mean my number hit every time. Okay, so we will... Oops. What we're going to do is we're going to port trade for that. We'll buy a development card. I know I can win already, but sometimes just stick it to them, right? So we'll, build, we'll buy this. And we got another knight. Um, we'll just go ahead and build a road before we get too foolish. That should be it. Gorley Nouns, longest road, so I have 10 points. Congratulations, you are Lord of Catan. Um, so that's pretty much the basics of Settlers of Catan. Let's take a look at... This is really loud for me. Hold on one second. Holy cow. I had this on like quiet. Alright, so... Who knows what this icon is supposed to mean? Some type of card? 
Um, but I had longest road. I had ten. I had one knight. Um, I used two cards. And then... Dice to items. Oh, so every time the the dice were rolled, I picked up 1.42 items. Um, and that had to do with getting on my numbers heavily, and then uh, just as importantly, getting more stuff out there. So I'm, I'm, I'm picking up more stuff when my numbers hit, and I have those cities out there. So I picked up 51 items. Um, the thief stole pretty much nothing from me that they did from other people. I traded 12 times, and they only traded 4 and 6. That can't be right. Oh, I port traded. Okay, I was going to say 4 plus 6 is 10. I traded 12. Okay, so that makes more sense. Um, the, we had 16 rounds, 125 resources, and then these were the resources that were used. Uh, so let's look at the dice distribution. Uh, two hit ones, it looks, or twice, maybe 12 hit ones, or maybe not. Um, so six hit actually the most, and I was on six. Seven didn't hit even as much as eight. Um, I noticed that eight was hitting, uh, but it was hitting when the thief was on the wheat, which worked out for us. So the person was just pretty much picking up brick, and then they were trading that away. Uh, three hit quite a few times, as we saw that with the other bricks. So There's just a lot of brick being pumped into the game. Uh, five hit pretty fair amount of times. Um, I was able to pick up quite a bit of wood from that. And then nine, it didn't seem like it hit that much, but it probably did. Uh, it normally seems like ten hits quite a bit more than eleven, but that seemed pretty even. Um, I don't remember that hitting once, but it had to hit more than that. So that was the rankings that we looked at. And statistics, that was a 45 minute game. A lot of it was just me talking, 28 minutes of it apparently. Um, so I traded. Oh, God. Go to you. Yeah. Uh, I traded. Our resources traded 29, so with the port, you know, with the 2 to 1 trades and stuff like that. Uh, 14 roads were built, 2 cities were built. 14 roads? That's not right. I can't get all my roads. Oh, maybe this is for everyone who was playing. Yeah, it had to be. So, settlements built seven. Cities built two. I was the only one built a city. We did build quite a few roads. It's not counting the initial two that you get. Um, so, I really only built eight roads because I connected up those. I'm not sure if Mary had did or not. Ugh. We played one game against Sean and Marianne. So, um, I'm going to go set up.